What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Ultimate Masters draft here on the internet. Uh, a lot of people, based on the comments we've seen, are not thrilled about this format. So, uh, I can echo that sentiment. I don't think it's the best, but I think it's fine to fill the gap between... Uh, they're, they're literally like, here's the modern cube for three weeks. Here's... Oh, a cigar to host of herons. Here's... Um, do we just take that? That seems like it's impossible to deal with outside of like Chainer's Edict and us having one creature. But actually, Chainer's Edict doesn't even kill it. Good lord, this is unbeatable, right? <clears throat> um, Yeah, and then they're like, here's two weeks of Ultimate Masters, and then here's a month of Vintage Cube. And I'm like, you guys know what's up. I can't imagine a world where I take Phoenix over Sigarda. <laughs> I'm not bragging, but I was the fastest. What's the green-white archetype in this format? I have no idea. It might be some brand of heroic. or uh, Yeah, heroic is probably correct. Because you got a lot of the heroic guys. you got the white cards that that do do things. I'm going to take this Prey Upon, though. First time catching you live. Enjoy your content. How's it going? It's going all right. Mick Almighty, thank you so much for, uh, for hanging out. Appreciate it, buddy. I'm going to take this Prey Upon. Green White Bobers is uh, actually a legitimate archetype. Oh, I like a Mammoth Umbra. Can I put a Mammoth Umbra on a Sigarda? That seems broken. I think it's better than Repel, Wickerbow, or Aronim Unicorn. Shielding Plaques even seems playable in this format. Sigarda seems unbeatable uh, on the condition that you draw enough lands to play it and also draw it. Two things that happen infrequently on the stream. That is correct. You're broken. My chair is broken. I emailed the company. I had to, I was on the phone, so I don't know if you guys remember my chair story. But um, I bought a Herman Miller, Aaron, through an eBay company. They have a ten-year warranty, um, and they were just like slightly used. They were like obviously bought from like offices who you know, had to uh, liquidate, right? So I was like, all right, cool, $500, whatever. It's like half price of a regular Herman Miller. <clears throat> and um, so I, I reached out to them in June about just an issue, like one of the one of the, the clamshells on the base was cracked. And I was like, hey, can I just get a replacement for this? And they're like, sure, you just have to send it in and uh, you'll ship it to us and we'll ship it back to you. And I was like, the whole chair? And, I was, and so I was like, no, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I, that's a weird thing to do. I've never heard of a company asking you to ship an entire chair back. Especially because it costs the same amount as the chair itself, likely. Um, so recently, the actual seat and the, the brace, like, it, it came, a part of it came loose. <clears throat> so, probably taking a second prey upon. I like Pulse as well. We can get back Sigarda, but... Uh, Prey Pond seems pretty decent here. I bet we can get another Pulse. And I value the removal higher than I... Ooh, Travel Preparations is exactly what I want in this deck. Okay, and it's uncommon, so you're probably not going to see many of them. Faith's Fetters. All right, all the good cards are coming. These are like the top tier things. Um, And so, okay, so now it's an end of position where like, I have to actually get this chair fixed now. Um, But I know the situation where they're going to be like, hey ship it to us and we'll ship it back to you uh no it's not a it's not it's not a tightening screw issue definitely not uh sigil of the new dawn do i care about that i actually like war leaders here like is there is there an efficient way to splash for a red <sighs> maybe this card's very good it's probably better than anything else in this pack as well i'm gonna take the war leaders helix here Calories, all right. Icacian Crier is decent. I'll probably take the Root Wallet because it's just a decent creature in this format. Uh, this does nothing for us because it's red or blue. It's a Jeskai boy. I don't hate Lotus Eye Mystics. I mean, it's a creature. So anyway, at least I can actually show you an image from this chair. <clears throat> so on the seat itself, this part like actually came out. So, like, 
it looks like this. Whereas, like, this part should be in this part. And I'm just like, this is not... I mean, I'm sitting in it now because it's just kind of, like, resting on the other part. But it's not managed. Like, it's not sustainable. And so I emailed them. I called eBay and I called PayPal. And I was like, look, I know that I bought this chair a little over a year ago, but... They have a 10-year warranty, but their 10-year warranty literally requests that I mail the chair in, which is going to cost the same price as the chair itself. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and additionally, I also ordered, I just ordered a new chair straight from Herman Miller because I don't feel like, I didn't feel like dealing with that. Um, and I don't know how this this refund is going to work and, uh, or the, 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 the repair is going to work and I also need a chair. So I just ordered a new chair. But... As far as this one goes, I don't really want to give up on a chair, especially if it's a Herman Miller Aaron. And um, so I emailed the company. I was like, "Look, I know your policy is to have me ship it, but what can we do? Because this this seems like a warranty that you have that discourages people from taking advantage of the warranty. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, we'll 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 warranty your car. You just have to uh, drive it to our location in you know six states away." Well, that's not a reasonable way to have a warranty, though. Yeah, but it's that's the warranty. We will warranty the car. We'll repair it or replace it if you can get it to us. And I'm like, okay, well, I think we know that's not a super reasonable thing to do. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's why they that's why they offer the warranty. They get too expensive to cash in, right? And I think like they know they're doing that, which is why I'm just like, is this? I mean, like, can you work with me here? Like, can we do something? It's just a weird situation. Do you know that most of the pros that have magic contracts are the Hearthstone pros? Um, no, I don't know that, and I don't know if that's true. I, where did you see that? Because it, it, the, most of the pros that have contracts would be the top 32 magic players. I imagine there are some Hearthstone pros that have contracts, like probably like Crip, Amaz. I bet there's like a handful of them that do, but I, don't, I can't imagine that most of them. Would the company pay for the shipping? No, that's the point. I, I'm they're literally I have to pay to ship it there and ship it back. I have to pay for all shipping costs. Which is why it's unreasonable because it's a chair. Like it's not like uh there's a pulse we want it. I also like Staunch Hearted Warrior, but we don't have any targets for well, yeah, Prey Upon actually. Prey Upon and Staunch Hearted Warrior is pretty good. I like Teth Tethmos, um, but it doesn't actually target much yet. <clears throat> Uh, Herman Miller actually has a 10-year warranty, and considering the the reputation of the company, I have no way to, uh, I have no reason to doubt uh, the quality of their of their warranty. What can you do, Brian? I have no idea. <laughs> like, not even, I don't know, man. Like, that's not. I'm not one of the top 24. Like, I'm not like one of the top 32 pros. Like, it doesn't really, it doesn't really bug me. Uh, I'm going to take Kitchen Finks. I want this Kodama's Reach, but I think we can probably get more of those because they're common. Whereas Kitchen Finks is just a solid dude. Oh, Penumbra Worm is <sighs> pretty good. I could take this Terramorphic Expanse, but I just don't really. I had a warranty on laptop years and years ago where they said, because I didn't register it when I bought it, the warranty was invalid. I asked if that meant I can get my money back, and they said no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would imagine they'd say. Probably just Wicker Battle I like having this effect. We do have a Ronum Unicorn. I don't care about Terramorphic Expanse. I just really don't want to play a Terramorphic Expanse. Fecund Diddy, as Mike would say. Oh, Miraculous Recovery seems alright. We have a Sigarda. Hmm. Facebook ads and Google ads. Oh, man. Uh. 
<laughs> it's like Mickey Two Shoes. I'm like, uh, you know, I don't know if this is gonna have a persist counter when it comes back from the graveyard. I think it's still miraculous card. I don't think any of these other cards is good. I don't want a third prey upon. I don't really. I don't like fecundity because of the uh, the symmetry. I don't really want them to draw cards. I'll just take shed weakness here. See, that's actually very good with the uh, with the kitchen finks. Uh, could be another basking root wall. Steel Legion, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. It's either Hoothing Mandrels or Basking Rootwalla. I'm going to take the Rootwalla just because I don't think we're going to have that many ways to fill our graveyard. This is a discard outlet. It's not a great discard outlet, but it's a discard outlet, I guess. Uh, I don't want you to put me on blast on Facebook ads. That's That's pretty awkward. Like, I'm just... I don't... I'm not... I want to earn what I get. Like, if I get if I get chosen for this, like, then so be it. But, like, I, I'm not, like, super upset about it. Like, it's not a real thing I'm looking for. Like I just don't like that kind of forced attention. Like I just if, if something comes to me, I want it to be I want it to be because someone uh, naturally liked what I produce or what I what I make or you know what what I do. You know, like if I have to put myself in front of people's faces to get their attention, like it's just not. Uh, Vessel actually seems fine in this deck because we have a lot of expensive cards and it also lets us cast our red things. The problem is like I don't I don't actually even play arena that much. So like it's I don't really see why they would have picked me for like an arena thing anyway. Like also I don't even like know where like Oh man. Yeah, I've actually been I've been quite high on Vessel in this format just because there's a lot of expensive stuff and it's like one of the only forms of fixing. I appreciate your thoughts on MTGA, MTGO Pro Play video. I really hope they eventually allow collection imports from MTG to MTGA. If they do, I'm happy, but I don't know if that's I it just it's it's weird too. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, head on over to YouTube and check out my uh, my thoughts on the esports changes. Uh, sure, we'll take the, the Feek and Diddy, as Mike would say. All right, got a Desolate Lighthouse. It's a solid rare. Oh, there's the Kodama's Root you wanted. As long as there's nothing like... Uh, eventual Rebirth is really good. Return a card from your graveyard to your hand. If you return a non-land, it deals damage to your other card. I, I think we're just taking the Eventual Rebirth here. It's actually... It's such an insane card. Like, you can return five drops and then deal five to any target. Like, that's just nuts. We also don't have that many uh, expensive cards in our deck yet, so I'm okay with that. I do like having a Hooting Mandrills. I don't, I don't think it's either of these or the Crusher yet. I also don't think you're a... Uh, I like Stone Chartered Warrior with double prey upon and travel preparations. Yeah, that guy's probably better than anything else in this pack. All right, we're still looking for one Kodama's Reach. I'll be fine if we don't get it. It's life. Those are my thoughts on the pro play changes. I just linked it. Eldrazi Conscription. Well, well. So, we meet again for the first time. Eight mana is a bit much, unfortunately. I like two drop. I like face fetters, though. Uh, face fetters is so good. I have to take second face fetters, right? Wow, another War Leader's Helix? Come on, dude. That's a lot of War Leaders Helixes. 
So we could have double war leaders here because double face fetters. Conscription on Sigarda is great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it probably just wins in one swing. The problem is that uh, it's a five mana rare with an eight mana rare on it. I'm going to take that War Leaders. There's nothing else in this pack that's even close to the second War Leaders Helix. So now I might take a Terramorphic Expanse because we're getting to the point where I just want to find one mountain. I would like some two drops here, but you know. I mean, we have double face fetters, double war leaders helix, so ideally we should be able to survive until the late game. Like, this is an extra 16 life. And we can just get a war leaders helix back, deal another 4 damage. This deck actually deals a lot of damage. I'm actually probably going to play a second vessel in this deck. I do like crushing canopy. We have a lot of removal, so I'm not too concerned with it. We also have a bunch of ways to get rid of um, enchantments. Uh kind of shuts off Vengeful Rebirth War Leaders Helix and Face Fitters kind of rough might just be brown scale I don't think we're going to ever dredge it yeah we're definitely not taking Gadok Teague in this deck <laughs> that seems pretty bad uh, I don't know if I hate Miming Slime actually it's not it's probably not great. <sighs> Whatever. Canker Abomination. It's a card. I like that you're just like two drop, take the two drop. I don't know what it does, but take it. Yeah, no, Gaddock Teague says you can't play non creature spells that cost four or more. So it shuts off a good amount of our cards. Whatever. We have another Ronum Unicorn on the sideboard that we could probably put in here if we wanted to. Sky Spear Cavalry. I don't think we want Miraculous Recovery. We already have Double Vengeful Rebirth. I think that's more than enough. Is there a Teague deck out there? Probably not. I mean, it's 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 a rare. It's infrequent that rares have strategies built around them because there's just no guarantee to open them. I might take out the Wicker Bow Wicker Bow Elder. Might be better than Mandrels though. I don't think so though. Yeah, I think this is probably the deck. 11 creatures actually seems fine. We have a double Vengeful Rebirth. We really only have one mountain, I believe. We don't have anything to like mill the mountain to the graveyard. So I can see 8, 7, 1 and a, more, and a Terramorphic Expanse. All right. I don't know if this deck is any good. <laughs> we have a lot of things, though. We also have two vessels, so I'm not super concerned with color considerations. Um, but this is a deck where I don't even think we mind flooding out that much just because we have a significant amount of uh, things to do with our mana. Yep, and the sand seems great. If we hit one more land, this is a turn four Sagarda, which is nice. Ruwala. All right, well, that's kind of like a land. Devoted Druid. I see. That is a land. All right, so we're just going to go like this. Yikes. All right. We're good. We're good. Our hand is good. What's going on, Heatstroke? Let's 
this a May ability? No. Interesting. Well, they don't have a second planes, so I don't think their Sigarda is going to work out, but our Sigarda should. Okay, all this is fine. Uh, wait, wait, yeah, we can play red right here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that seems good. Is it from Root, Root Walla Walla, Washington? I ha my hair is very tall today. It's also like... I think it's fine, right? I don't know. Oh man, Mammoth Umbra, please. Oh, this guy's big. Alright, well that's fun. Face fetters off the top. That's Rootwalla. Okay. Wait. Oh, Sigarda versus Annihilator is gas. Oh, that's nice. I wish you had first strike. I wonder if we can just win here by, like, killing their things. One, two, three. We play this. Then we have one, two, three, four. Did we play land? We did. One, two, three. So we can actually play one, two, three, four, five. We have six. So we can play this and this, or just this and this. Kill you. Attack for five. And then just chump block this guy. That actually seems really good. actually don't even need a chump block to be quite honest so you just have to survive for four turns yeah it does not have trample it just has to attack each turn and we also have two face fetters that we could draw Um, I guess we can just take 10 here. We can go to 14. Wildwood does have reach. <laughs> oh, boy. We're having a good time now. So, 1, 2, 3. We can play Vessel. Get rid of this thing. And she has Hexproof. So, I'm like, God, I don't even have to be afraid of anything. That's great. Wow, Cigar is a beating dude. My God. <sighs> now I'm actually tempted to just block and trade the Mammoth Umber for the Ulamog's Crusher. Because next turn they're going to have to block, but I don't think we need to block yet. Annihilator doesn't work on you, correct? So now they get to see, because this is a one turn clock, right? So, like, we just attack with this guy, they have to block with Stirring Wildwood. And then next turn, they're just dead to an 8 8. Oh, Jesus, Drew. Jesus. I feel like we don't even have to draw face fetters. And Sigarda with a Mammoth Umbra wins the game just like you just like it should. I mean even if you pulse Mammoth Umbra, like they're still in bad shape, right? Oh, uh do you mean pulses in like Pulse of Marasa or Maelstrom Pulse? Like I'm not sure. Sigatum. <laughs> Nice. Well, that was... I don't, I don't even want to board anything in. There's nothing I really care about here. Didn't mean to... No, you're good. You're good. Oh, boy. Oh. 
Well, we have a Sigarda, but that's pretty much it. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to mulligan. You know what? This hand is actually fine, I think. Uh, bottom you. <coughs> Once we prey upon something, this guy's a 4 4, so. Nope, that is not what we're looking for. Cathodium with big belly from that robot stew. That is correct. All right. Five lands into, well, four lands into two more lands. All right. Yeah, there's nothing to really get rid of Sigarda except, like, Wrath of God. Like, I mean, it's really, like, you can't make a sacrifice it and you can't target it, so. It's a really, oh, oh that's got such a good draw. It's, like, the best draw possible here. Gives us a three drop instead of a nothing to do. Are there no supers inside other than all of this? I don't think so. Not to my knowledge. Alright, so now they're just gonna trade, which is sad. I don't really wanna I don't really want a staunch hearted warrior here and trade to the hooting mandrel. Damnate in there? Uh maybe. I don't think so though. See the problem with ultimates the, the problem with master sets is they all blend together for me. I'm like, wait, was that in this set or was that in the other master set? I don't know. No blocks. Oh my god, all this dust doesn't work either, that's true. <laughs> uh sacrifice all permanence. Oh, I'll pass. Thanks, I'm good. Is this real? Get out of here with this thing. Look at this fat idiot. Talon Trooper can block Sigarda. That's actually a good point. But that's also because he has the authority of the Ravnik, Re the, the Alara Alaran police force. Double fire spout does kill Sigarda, yes. Maelstrom Pulse on that guy. Wow, they actually had a Maelstrom Pulse. That's pretty funny. Well, that's that's biscuits. Can I pause the stream? I have right now, but I'll tell you what, I'll upload these when I'm done, so you can you can just put these in the back of the queue. Mountain. I accept. The queue doesn't end. I'm sorry. I upload two videos a day.
Oh my god, they're playing all these big dudes because we've drawn like literal a thousand lands. It's really unfortunate. Hey, next turn we got a thing. What's the secret to drafting UMA? Uh, don't lose. Yeah, there's no real secret to it. So we're going to take a bunch here. I'm probably just going to block here. <laughs> they do have appetite for brains. Hilarious. And that's literally the one turn after I'm going to be able to cast this Warlord's Helix. Seems good. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to block here because I really want to take 9 damage. Let's get a mountain and let's also... God, Vengeful Rebirth I guess would be fine. 4 plus 8, 9. Maybe? It's... Yeah, that's probably the game. Uh, I mean, we block here, we take 1, 2, 3, we take 7, we go to 5, we have nothing on board and I have to deal with 3 things. Now, I'll turn if I can block the root wall and not even trade because they pump it, so. Yeah, this is just a lot of lands. Billy, what's going on, buddy? Can it be vintage cube time? Next week it is. Next Wednesday. I get back from New York on Monday, so... Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. We got one drop, two drop into travel prep, which seems actually pretty insane. <laughs> Double helix all the way across the sky. Can you please have over 100 videos of Vintage Cube, please, and thank you? Uh, it will be very close to that. I will go, I will go ham on the Vintage Cube for you. Boom, 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 boom. Have you looked into playing Utron yet? I've thought about it. I've considered it. This is where they're going to Maelstrom Pulse one of these guys just to take a little of the pressure off. Oh, no pressure taken off. This is going to be a lot of damage. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is nine damage. They're going to five here, and we have Warlord's Helix in hand. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Thank you. Villy with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yikes. You can't go ham on anything, at least going ham would mean not doing anything with. What does that even mean? I mean, I wouldn't go ham because I don't even eat the ham, but. Okay. So. Find a red source and get to kill you. I feel like we're in good shape here. <laughs> You're at one. <sighs> I think we did good. Travel Preparations is a real card. A real card. Okay. Uh, his hand's not great. <laughs> I'm going to mulligan this hand. And uh, I'm going to reluctantly keep this this thing. Yeah, you're fine. This is still a turn two. Yeah, this is actually fine. And Terramorphic is great with the Hootie and the Mandrills. Oh yeah, game three was a bloodbath. Maybe you shouldn't have turned away, Brett. Did you ever think about that? Yeah. That's what you get for having more than one tab open. That's just my Twitch stream.
<laughs> yes, lesson learned. I'm sorry you had to learn it the hard way, but that's life, buddy. Mountain? Dang it, I knew it was going to be a red card. Why do you do this? Magic, why do you like this? Don't turn away, don't turn away, don't turn away. From, is that a song? I'm a unit taver. Can you imagine, like... I can't even imagine if I went to someone's house and I saw their browser and they had like one tab open in Firefox. I can't even imagine that world anymore. I don't even know how you'd exist. That seems like a fictitious person. Thank you. Apple Housen, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm not going to block this guy because... Is that how we did it with before tabs? Like you would just have multiple windows open? I don't even remember that. It seems like such another a different time. Did they miss a land drop? Oh, they th they thought twice and they missed the land drop. Fascinating. You're currently going to be for my only tab in Firefox. Nice. That's all I want, guys. I just want your undivided attention here. I don't think that's too much to ask. God, just keep these lands coming. That's all I want out of life. We could have face fettered this guy. This game's probably over. God, I hate not doing anything this turn. But I really don't want to face fetter as a basking Groot Walla. So, whatever. Okay, going to take a little nap, but I'm going to keep you on. Could you sing me a, a little lullaby real quick for the next, the next 30 minutes? It's a hell of a song, buddy. Oh, all right. You know what? You got it. I can appreciate that. Some days, some money's gonna make you wanna turn around and wow, another root walla. Well, this isn't gonna end well. Give me a mountain, just the one mountain. I'll take a vessel too, because it actually gets rid of this thing twice and it gives us the red. Yeah, okay. It's not the bade. It's not great. Cause like no matter which one we prey upon, they can just block with the other one. So like we can actually we'll, we'll attack first and see what happens. If they want to trade two root walls for a for a kitchen finks, that's almost worse than just keeping this guy up and then blocking and pumping, right? I only have one tab open, but I'm not good with computers. <laughs> so Sammy's like, yeah, the only reason I don't have more tabs open is just like, I don't even know how to do that. I don't even think it's worth preying upon. Like, they just don't have the mana to really utilize these guys efficiently, so. I'm going to pass. The only reason I would have considered preying upon is because it does let us cast Scooting Mandrels if we miss a land drop. However, I do have a feeling they're going to, uh, okay, okay, that's good. I do have a feeling they're going to hit a land drop, and they did. Or we're going to hit a land drop, is what I was going to say. Oh, man, look at this. Now they're going off. You got it. I gained two more life. Don't you know that? Oh, man, these cuties are getting in there. How you gonna act, cuties? Oh, that would have been a good dude to have. I think it's still Kitchen Fink's Prey Upon here. It gives us a lot more options next turn. I would love to save the Prey Upon for the haunch started, staunch hearted haunch started. The staunch hearted warrior, but like, Thank you. I'd rather have the guaranteed root wall next turn, or the mandra rather. I'm just, I'm just saying all the things that are in my, in my brain. We, if we, as soon as we get a red, we can actually target the staunch hearted warrior with the warriors he looks. Enemies MTGO, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. All right, that's actually fine. However, I do like putting. <laughs> this is, uh, can't use the abilities, right? Chan can't block. Actually, his ability can't be activated. Yeah, let's do that. It's like the perfect jokes on you, buddy. The most ironic Wickerbaw Elder, the most ironic face fetters ever. I could destroy this thing if I could. <laughs> oh, 
I can't. I'm li I'm it's, it's the best. That seems like a flavor fail. <laughs> like, oh, it's the most awkward target ever. I could prevent this if I could just break free. That's great, dude. What did they get back? Just the wind? Oh, that's... Is that a sorcery or an instant? Biscuits, I don't actually know. Biscuits! Oh, biscuits. I don't know what to... I think it's just hooting mandrills here. Guaranteed 4-4. Four, four. I guess we'll attack with this guy first. If we want to trade with either, I think that's fine. There are three? Oh god, we just need a red mana. <laughs> Hold on for one more day. So we have three sources of red in our deck. We have the two vessels and the single... Yep. Oh no, they bounced their own, dude. Uh, the two vessels and the single mountain. <laughs> oh my god. Part time streamer. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Well, they could double block here, but then they die. So they could probably like. I think we're just alpha here. I think we're actually in. Oh, the, it, just the wind is is an instant and it's gone now. Okay, so I'm gonna just hope that. <laughs> I watched that Alex Lewin Germany choked on air and awkwardly laugh while got Billy. I every time I watch it, I laugh. I can't even help it, dude. I'll just watch it. It's the way he says. Eh, me neither. It's the way he says it, and I'm just I lose it. I can't even. Yep, that's pretty good. They're still at one. Uh, uh, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, they're dead on board. That's got to count for something, right? Alexa, how do I deal with Sigarda? Sorry, I don't know. She don't know. And that's, that's, uh, that's understandable. Like, it's a difficult problem. It's got hexproof. Can't make me sacrifice anything. I get it. Like, I didn't expect him to say the me neither part. And once he did, I was like, oh, I'm losing it. <sighs> We're done here, buddy. All right. This guy's got to do, do the deed. Don't have a counterspell as your last card. Okay. Don't have, like, a control magic. What was that? Think twice? Sure. Sure. Oh, let me uh, let me find the clip. I'm actually gonna make this clip. I'm gonna make this clip Mike's dad. We're gonna call it. Alexa, will my dad, oh, Alexa, will my dad ever come back? I have to tell it to stop, otherwise she listens. Adcom, Mike's dad. There's the clip. Jesus, it's a good one. All right. This guy's a 6-6, six, six, so they just double block. But then we attack with everything, right? All things are... One can get through. They just go block here, double block here. But then we get to kill both. Or they go block here, double block here. And you get a 6-6 six, six anyway. Same. Oh man. I 
Hang on for one more day. Yep, had a feeling that was happening. Yep, this is exactly how we figured it was going to go. So they go to one, but then they gain two more. Everything pretty much trades here. Shell Warbringer, congrats on winning the draft, buddy. Well done. Well done. All right. So they're still at three. Look at this. Look at this beauty. That thing is gorgeous. I'm just afraid of another just the wind or into the wind or something about the wind. So now you block here. I guess we're just alphaing again. I mean, we've got to keep applying pressure while we wait for this warlord as he likes to come through. God, they're going to have another just the, just the wind. I know it. It's going to be the saddest day. It's the saddest day I've ever had. Yep, that was what we figure, figured. Come on, red source. We have three red sources and 21 cards, so 33%. Oh, aggressive. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, what are we taking? Anything? Do we care about anything? Doesn't matter because we're going to win the game. Go to your face. Oh, got him. There it is. Helix, your brain. All right, what do they have that we care about? I actually kind of like Miraculous Recovery. We, we haven't drawn Vengeful Rebirth, though, so... If they had a Counterspell there, I would have cried. The tears would have flowed. Um, when a creature is putting a graveyard from the battlefield, you may pay two if you return it to your hand. This card's like a card that I'm like, wow, that effect is strong, but I really don't want to spend two mana every single time. I'm just going to submit like this. I think our deck is fine. Actually, Lotus, like, for fetters could be good, but our four drop spot is really clogged right now. I'm actually tempted to keep this. I think this hand's actually fine. It lets us play all of the big things. Yeah, I'm just going to go insta-get this red. Okay, take it easy, little lizard. I, too, have a root waller. I think Talent Trooper is better than Muldrifter, but worse than Sigarda. <laughs> I mean, these are that's an opinion. That's a thing to that's a thing to to say. All right, let's attack. Let's see what happens. We're not going to pump. We're just going to play Cathodian here. We don't need the the buff. Uh, it's called Blue-Eyed Cheons because Paul Cheon, I think, is uh, notorious for drafting the archetype. Are you going to bounce my Cathodian?
Hold on, I have to respond to Frodan. <laughs> I got a, I got a pretty sweet message actually. <clears throat> December eighteenth. That's next week, right? I get back. Oh yeah, that's great. Give me one second, guys. All right, cool. Um, It was just the wind. It's okay. It's okay. God dang it, Brian. Thanks for getting part-time lover stuck in my head. How's that even real? Why is that even a real song that you're singing? Hmm. Ground lizard don't care. <sighs> Just go Cthulhu in here. Oh, we don't need these vessels yet. Jesus. Oh God. Boy, oh boy. Um, one, two, three. We can't do both. We play to land this turn. We can play hooting, hooting hoots. Hooty hoos. I think this is better. It lets us get in there. It also gains us four. Oh boy. Well, that's a card, isn't it? Oh, do I just trade here? It seems bad, right? I think it's actually fine, right? We can we can put off Sigarda for one turn. And we can't play Hootie Hoos. So we'll play Endless Vessel, get rid of your Eternal Witness. Yeah, it seems alright. This opponent's actually good. This is good times. <laughs> so we're having a light, we're having a nice little banter here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually play both of these. By play both of these, I mean pump and cigarta. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, we're going to keep doing it. I 
I feel like we're winning this race. Sigarda can be countered, so I don't want to walk into something like a circular logic. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. They do have another just to win, so they're probably going to bounce mandrels. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, no blocks. Wow, this basking root wall is really doing the doing some damage here. I only have seven mana, so I can play this. Can we do what with one, two, three? And then we have one, two, three, four, five. So we can play this and this. Cigar eh, seems pretty OP here. I think we're just gonna do that. One, two, three. Yeah, we have to go. We could play travel prep, but that doesn't really do much. I'd rather just go one, two, three, vessel. Get rid of just the wind so you can't keep bouncing things. And then play Sigarda. That does seem good. What? <laughs> this card good? Is this, is this card good? I can't tell. Is this good? No attacks. <laughs> yeah, but it's ruining Air Lizard's good time. <laughs> oh man, this is good stuff. Engineer Explosives would do it, actually. If they can get a mountain, a plains, and a swamp on board, we are good to go. I also want you to know I have double st stinger fling spider in hand, and it doesn't even do anything. It could... It could kill Air Lizard. Don't kill it. Don't do it. Don't kill him. He doesn't deserve it. Okay, good. I was worried for a second. Air Lizard deserves to live. <laughs> Oh god, our deck is so good. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. So what can we do here? We can actually go Staunch Hearted Warrior double travel prep. Oh god, that's disgusting. One, two, three, four. Staunchy boy. Prepperonis. Travel prepperonis. And then I think we're gonna go one here, one here. Just so Air Lizard our, our just so our ground boy can be a little have a little more confidence, you know what I mean? And also this can pump to a five and this is two, so I wanna keep Cigar out of range of a double block, so. They are at two life. So Warleader's Helix is just like Muy bueno. No, don't do it. Don't don't do it this time. Don't he Oh no <laughs> No Oh this is so sad. Top ten anime betrayals. Oh man. This this is for Air Lizard, buddy.
That's not that's not okay, man. <clears throat> that was good stuff. That was a that was an enjoyable match. Of course our deck is bonkers, so that's cool. See, Frank, UMA is fun when you draft the green-white deck. I guess so. I hope he definitely just squeezed himself right into top 10 Frank opponents. That's true. That's true. That's a true story. That's a true story. I will keep this hand. Hand's not great, but we have all the colors uh, and amounts and quantities of mana to cast everything in our deck, except for the, like the six drops and the seven drops. Let's draw travel prep again and have that same, uh, that repeat of round one, or we're just like travel prep, attack for a million, travel prep, pump. Dang it, so close. Still five damage. Still, uh, still some aggression here. Let's raise a glass and have a lizard, a lizard air. You mean air lizard? Don't, 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 don't get it twisted. Uh, well, we're not attacking here because that's silly. Man, Mammoth Umber always feels real good. Eh, wall, of, wall of Reverence, not so bueno. I don't actually know how to deal with that. All right, that's a good answer. <laughs> ah, Jesus God, what in the what in the? Oof. Oh, that's a good one. That's pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty. Huh. And they're only gaining one life right now because their total toughness is one, which is pretty okay. Let's do this. Th <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's the thing, all right. Uh, this is where we, uh, this is where we like to say, uh, got them in the industry. Dear God. Well, that was a thing. Yeah, once you put the, uh, the Mammoth Umber on Sigarda, it's, uh, well, it's pretty great. I too would concede to an elephant wearing to an angel wearing an elephant costume. Yeah, I mean it's not an unreasonable decision to make. I think. I I don't think I'd fault anyone who's like, you know what, I'm out. Oh, Paul Kukowski, good games, buddy. Good games. May Air Lizard live on in our memories. God, I hope so. I can't believe you just sacrificed Air Elephant, Air Lizard, Air Lizard, Air Air Lizard like that. We just put a, a mammoth umber on a cigar, so everything's getting real confused. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, really, this is, a, this is who you want to be? You want to be the plume veil guy? Okay. It's fine. I got, I got unicorns for days. I don't even care. What are you going to do about that? Nothing. Oh, I see. Oh, you're getting fancy. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, give me a land so I can mammoth umber this. Like, like, it flies now, in case you guys didn't know. 
Does this make you want to try Sigarda as a commander? Um. Wow. That's dirty. All right, little cutie. Let's do what you got to do. And <laughs> Air Lizard Memorial Fund. <laughs> he was taken from us too soon. Listen, you got to use positive reinforcement for your pets. You can't use negative reinforcement. They don't understand it. So, return a permanent you control to its owner's hand. Returning that flight of fancy, I presume. So you can bounce a land too. Yep, that's a good one. So we know you still have flight of fancy and the other one. Oh man, fiend hunter is pretty bad here because they just take whatever we umbra. I don't want that to be the case. Poor air lizard. He was taken from us too soon. Dang it. Just knock it. Like, we have double Vengeful Rebirth, but no red this time. I think it's like the one time we've drawn Vengeful Rebirth, and we're like, well, this is an emotional roller coaster here. Sigarda. Hey, we drew the red. Hey, would you look at that? Um, I'm actually just going to prey upon this. This seems like it's scary. Let's just go get the red now. I do wish I had something bigger than uh, two mana in the graveyard. Like getting this Mammoth Umber down. Oh, I see. Eldrazi Conscription? Don't do it. Okay, that's fine. Whew. Oh man, what was my reaction to Avengers Endgame? And then Paul Rudd just steals every scene he's in. It's unreal, dude. I'm Paul Rudd is just amazing. I'm gonna concede. I can't. We can't win this game. Like they have too much going on here. We can't go by the four four and destroy this four four. And we know they have a fiend hunter in hand. So I think we just want this. I think we just want Elder in here. Probably better than Staunch Heart Warrior. If you haven't seen These Dads Suck, it's a recent Paul Rudd movie. I don't know if I have seen These Dads Suck. This hand's not aggressive. I'm going to keep it. It's fine. I don't love it. We'll get there. Hold on. Look at this clip. Brett, come on, buddy. Come on. Wow. Wow, what a throwback, dude. <laughs> oh my god, the Mac and me wheelchair scene. I can't. I'm friggin' dead. Ooh. <laughs> god, that's amazing. Wow. That's good stuff. <clears throat> oh, that's right. He would, yeah, he would always prank Conan with that scene. Oh my God. Paul Rudd is a treasure, dude. Paul Rudd is a treasure. I 
Um, yeah, and the best part was that he would do it a million times. Like, it would never seem to get old. All right, now we got some aggression. And we also have eventual rebirth if they manage to get rid of the face fitters. Which is pretty sweet. I don't care about all your guys. Put these things on their faces. <laughs> And they're going to bounce this one. And then we're going to do it all over again. This is aggressive, dude. This is great. We also have four to the face. Oh, we don't have... We, don't, we only have one Vengeful Rebirth. This is why you can't cycle. This is why it exiles, so you can't get two and just keep cycling them in, like, ad nauseum. We know we have a face fetters in hand. One, two, three, four. Fetters this guy. One, two. Now you're at one. So you have to play like two guys or deal with both of these guys. Okay. That's yeah, fine. I'll overpay. Got him. I don't even know what happened there. Wow. Ah, that was amazing. Wow. This deck is cool. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm not going, or watching on Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally just ending the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Hit that bell notification. You'll get notification. You'll get notification. 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 If you hit the notification, there's notifications. You can find me on Twitch and Patreon. Both links are in the description below. Also, check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. And you can check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. If you use promo code Frank, you will get 10% off. His work is amazing. Be sure to check his stuff out. Uh, even if you don't buy anything, just make sure you check out his site. His stuff is art. Uh, it's fantastic. You can find the link in the YouTube description and the Twitch description below. So check those out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.